Hey there, I'm Brad Barton with 1.21 gigawatts. We're outside Webster Hall in New York City. It's Rock Comic Con Rock Comic. time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kyle Stevens of Kirby Crackle. Hello. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Uh, thank you. It's good to see you. I'm so excited for the show. It's going to be fun, yeah. Um, you guys, and, and typically it's you guys. It's typically yeah, plural, full band, right? Yeah, full yeah. band, um, yeah. And uh, you get to fly solo tonight. I do. Sadly. I do. Well, I can get away with anything tonight. I can do whatever I want. Nice. I can, I can play a Montel Jordan song. Is yours. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> like off the rails I, for 20 minutes. I totally like that. Uh, so, so Kirby Crackle, as are most of the groups here tonight, yeah. are really specialized in songs about comics and games yes, and yeah. other wonderfully nerdy pursuits, although you guys introduced some really beautiful love songs in the midst Ner of... Nerdy, nerdy love songs. Nerdy love songs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how does one come to this in, in the first place? Well, like, long story short, I did uh, just regular, you say, mainstream rock and roll uh, from like 13 to 24 and then yeah. I kind of got disillusioned with the music business as one does for a little bit. Sure. But I was all into comics the whole time. Yeah. And so I thought, why hasn't anyone done something about comics and video games in a way that isn't you know, for example, Spider-Man yelling Spider-Man Spider-Man over and over again. <laughs> or more so talking about like power and responsibility and how he's awesome and stuff like that. Yeah. So our whole goal is to create songs for people who aren't even into comics, but if you are uh, like, he's talking about all this stuff. Right. right. You're into yeah. Right. Uh, and how long has Kirby Crackle been around? Remind me of that. Uh, 2009. Okay. Yeah, and, so. and yet you guys have kind of emerged as like sort of, I don't know, a bit of a king of the hill in, in a way. As we, we've been writers. lucky to, to be like one of the, a lot of respect. We've been lucky to have respect from the community. And, and we've always, our deal has always been like hold ourselves to the standard that we would hold other bands if we weren't musicians. You know, like it's like anyone can write a song about superheroes, but the number one, it has to exist on someone's song. Yeah. First and foremost, good. And if it's about superheroes, that's all the frosting. So, right, right, right. So we've kind of, we've had this loyalty between ourselves and fans, and we haven't bullshitted them, and they've been good to us. So, yeah. yeah. So tell me about, especially since it's a relatively young group or experience in a way, like your music is featured now at Marvel.com with The Watcher. Yeah, I know super that. lucky about that. I That's like amazing. Fan, fanboy freaking out yeah. over here for sure with that. Uh, and you you got two songs on uh on Rockstar? Is on, that our, right? On, on, on Rock Band? Yeah, Rock yeah, band? We, Sorry. yeah, we did a Ring Capacity, our Green Lantern song, okay. uh, and then Take It From Me, uh, which is our Mega Man song, is out. People don't really know that. Like That came out kind of under the radar a couple of years ago when people stopped doing Rock Band as much. Okay. But Vault 101, our Fallout 3 song, is out too. So right. yeah, we got three on there. How in the world does that happen? You know, our buddy John Griffin's like, hey, I really have passion about this, and I play a lot of rock band, and just, will you let me ride with this? And we don't know what we're doing with that, so we said, sure. <laughs> and, and it took him about three months each song. Yeah. Uh, he did a great job, and we I fail out of our own songs on rock band. <laughs> we haven't played that much rock band. Like, it's like the worst thing ever, you know, just to be like, yeah, you're done. That's the way I was like, I wrote that guitar line. Nope, well, you're not playing it right. You're not hitting the right button. So it's been funny with that. That is amazing. And, and I've got to guess that, that one of the highlights of the Kirby Crackle experience, you guys shared a bill with, with Weird Al. We did. Yeah, last yeah, year at some point. Who, who I assume has got to be even one of your... I mean, how do you get into Nerd Rock without him being an idol? Totally. And, you know, he was like he was the first cassette I got with the with the parody of Bad. You too? You too? Yeah. I think so. It was that and a Motley Crue, Girls, 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 were my first albums. And so I think somewhere in between there is where I'm formed. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, he was really nice. You know, we sound checked and we always tell the story. He came out to say hi to us. And he said, hey, guys, I'm Weird Al. It's like, yeah, no shit. No one looks like you. You know, you have the <laughs> right, right. perfectly turned yeah, hair are. and a uh, Hawaiian shirt. And yeah. it was pretty cool. That is amazing. Yeah. All right, so I want uh, people to be able to find you. For you poor fools that are not standing in line right over there right now that we need to get into Webster Hall, uh, America and yes. the world yes. can find you on the iTunes and the YouTubes. And, and the iTunes, uh, KirbyCracklemusic.com, mm -hmm. uh, Kirby Crackle on Twitter. We just launched the brand new Kirby Crackle Music Fan Club, which is kind of like a Netflix for nerd rock. And yeah. You can find all about that on our website, That's too. So cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for, and if for no other reason, you want to seek them out because all I'm going to say about the new single is that it involves Baby Groot and it's amazing. We're playing it tonight. So, so amazing. Thanks, man. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Have a great thank, show tonight. Thank you Appreciate very much. it. Yeah. See you later.